So the question is, what is and what should be the relationship between universities, academia on the one hand, and society on the other? Universities go back a very long time in European history. The first one, we think, set up um, and still in operation is the University of Bologna, set up in 1088. And I think the original purpose was actually to teach law and then later on they added medicine. But over time, the idea of the university did change, especially in the early 19th century in, in Germany with von Humboldt. The idea was to advance knowledge. A uh, long time ago, 30 years ago, I taught at the London School of Economics, the motto of which is to learn the causes of things, rerum cognoscere causas. And that, I think, the so-called blue skies research is still a part of what the university is supposed to do. But, of course, things change. And one of the big changes in the last half century is that of mass university education. Clearly, when you educate 5% of the population, that's very different from when you're doing best part of 50% of school leavers. Uh, the net result of which is that the pressures on what a university should do have changed. Can you still sustain pure research? Is it possible to do it uh, without pressures to conform? And above all, where is the money going to come from? Now, these are insoluble dilemmas. That doesn't mean that they can't be handled over time. In conclusion, what is vital is that the university should remain as a place for the advancement of knowledge, as well as everything else that it does. If the advancement of knowledge is lost, then why have other to have a university at all? <laughs>